Hey Leo, this is Sunny. I'm a psychic medium and I'm here with your reading for my arm just pops, but I'm here for your reading for uh February 2017. Oh Lord. Interesting. Um it's so much that came in my head and then that card fills. So that's kinda weird. Happy Valentine's Day to those who are celebrating it. I feel like this month is going to be fairly easy for some reason like i read you guys are the last signs obvi and it seems like everybody's going through some weird shit but i feel like you know my leos you you may be all right for some reason because i feel like things are set up to where you will be okay um or you need to realize that you are okay but when i was meditating for you guys there is this song on the rugrats movie um, I believe it was the first one where um if you remember the Rugrats, okay, um, where Dee Dee, the mom, and Sue were having a baby. She was pregnant, and Angelica and Susie was like singing. I don't know if it was like some little family reunion or family get together, but that um a baby is a gift, a gift from above. That song was sang in my head. Um, so you guys may get pregnant this month. Um, if you don't want to get pregnant, you know it's due to not get pregnant. Um, you guys may, some of you may have baby fever, like just out of nowhere. Um, you may just see a lot of babies. You may do things for babies. Um, if you are pregnant currently, like you may, you know, see your baby as a gift, um, from your divine God and angels, however you want to put it. But, um, you guys are going to be thankful for life this month. Um, whether this is a life that you created or your own life. And I'm picking up uh, those who are mothers. You you may realize that you are respected. Or you may respect your role as a mom. Um, I don't know why. It just kind of feels like an early mommy's day. Like That's just what I'm picking up for you guys. I don't know. Maybe like mothers you're going to be really sensitive um and like maybe you guys have been like really stressed with your kids if you do have kids or like if you don't have kids you're like oh lord kids are stressful but like i feel like there's going to be you know second thoughts in regards to children and how you feel about them important message for leos for february 2017 first card on the top It's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you. So what you gonna do? Uh, so yeah. Um, and maybe like in regards to babies, like if you get sorry, I'm blurry. Maybe if you guys want to start a family, like it's up to you. But just make sure that like you're starting a family with somebody who's worth having a family with. Um, but whatever you want, I'm picking up. It's up to you. I feel like you have the upper hand uh, to have the type of month that you want to have but it's honestly all about your attitude and it's you know all about how you come off the people to be honest um i feel like i don't know something in regards to new york for some reason um i don't know why i'm getting explosion i know like um i'm getting like uh the Twin Towers Part 2, though. But I don't feel like it's the same building. I feel like it's some sort of capital. Um, whether this may be in New York or maybe um, it has ties to New York. But there's going to be some explosion in regards to... I'm not trying to be you know funny or alarm anybody. But I just tell people what I see and feel. But in regards to New York or some sort of, some sort of connection to New York... There's going to be like a, an explosion. Now this may be big or just like a bomb. Um, if this has already happened, let me know. I don't really keep up with the news like that, to be honest. Because it's like so negative. Um, but I guess if this happens in the near future, let me know as well. Because like I said, I don't, keep, I don't really keep up with the news. I just see what's, what people talk about on Facebook, <laughs> to be honest. But um, yeah, so... And I feel like this is going to cause a lot of haywire. A lot of haywire. Um, 
so yeah I, that's really interesting how i picked that up for the leo reading but whatever let's get to you guys reading like i said not trying to alarm you or anything um i was just told that message and i had to get it out leos what's going on for my leos for february 2017 what's going on what's going on for leos you guys um i don't know why i heard attitude maybe you guys are having a change of attitude or your perspective upon things are going to be different i feel like a lot of you you're thinking about your world maybe some of you like you're creating a world okay some of you you may have earth sign in your chart capricorn taurus and virgo or you are thinking about creating a life uh with another earth sign oh sorry i said another earth sign maybe you are creating a life with um an earth sign capricorn taurus and virgo who knows um but i just feel like there's happiness around creation and around life and exploring and traveling i do feel like you guys it's like you're seeing the potential in something i feel like in regards to traveling there may be something uh with long distance relationships or you're thinking about moving um and you're thinking about how this may affect you know you from being with friends or um this may affect you and your current relationship whatever the case may be because that song by party next door come and see me is playing in my head um i guess i'll post the link uh below in the description bar if you are familiar with that song but i just feel like you know some of you guys like maybe you're tired of seeing other people and like seeing always having to travel to see a particular person and you're like hey come and see me for once or do something for me for once like surprise me for once make me happy for once shit clean up the house for once i feel like you know you guys just want somebody to do something instead of you having to do it all the time but you know i do feel like um you guys are ready to travel uh rather this is travel to new locations or you're ready to travel like to like new heights because you're expecting more from yourself but i feel like you know you guys honestly shouldn't get ahead of yourself you have you have so many ideas and so many plans but it's just like okay make sure you complete one thing before you start the next make sure you know what you're doing before you start it okay because i am picking up that you guys it's like you aren't really it's like you're just seeing the head of the iceberg but you aren't paying attention to all of the iceberg if that makes sense um because usually like you know from the from the appearance of an iceberg it looks kind of small but like when you go underwater it's just like oh my god this thing is so big and i feel like you know with me saying that you guys need to be mindful of the appearance of a problem or the appearance of something that you want to get into and make sure that you are capable enough to handle it to be honest because i am picking up that some of you guys may be maybe you may be doing too much or you really didn't expect for something to be as big as it was okay um i don't know why i'm getting the phrase uh too much that you can chew something like that i'm probably saying it wrong and whatever i know a lot of people are going to comment on what the phrase is so yeah um but yeah you guys make sure you're able to handle what's going on there may be something in regards to you guys um needing to make something meet maybe meet a deadline i don't know if you guys have a legit deadline or if you have a deadline that you set for yourself but you want to reach a particular goal but i feel like you know it may take longer than what you had expected don't get your pennies in a bunch okay if you don't fulfill this goal some of you guys you may have a connection to a sagittarius this may be their sun their moon and other rising but i feel like you know this sagittarius is like this person you kind of don't get along with this person i hate to say um maybe there's some issues in regards to a broken home with this sagittarius um whether this was an ex or a current relationship whatever the case may be um i am picking up on like inner sadness i don't know why i'm sensing broken home between you and the Sagittarius it's like if you recently meet a Sag be careful of you or this person coming from a broken home and like you guys having to deal with the conflicts and the results um of being like coming up from a broken home because I am picking up on a lot of tension and like you guys aren't really going to listen to each other and not trying to be funny for some reason I am picking up on like 
ab um, abuse whether this is mentally physically spiritually whatever the case may be and I feel like you know this situation is going to be something that you're going to have to heal from also this person may have some sort of conflict um, with you and money maybe this person will like kind of drain you financially or you may drain this person okay these are general readings um but i feel like fi some way somehow finances are going to be affected between you and this sagittarius person but i'm also picking up that somebody is expecting more okay but this is something that you're honestly going to have to get out of and you're going to have to like realize your worth in this particular situation and you're going to have to do this alone like these are general readings and maybe you guys are happy with the Sagittarius who knows but you know just really pay attention to like is this person listening to you are they talking down upon you like does this person fully make you happy do you realize that you're picking up after this person because for some reason I don't know why I just feel like there's a sense of you or this other person taking care of each other like you're picking up their clothes um you have to put their dishes in the sink like it's like little stuff like little household stuff that this person isn't doing and like you're noticing that this person has like weird habits in regards to their home life like kind of like a messy home not trying to be funny and it's just like oh my god i didn't i didn't want this i'm not happy with this but you know, I feel like as well, this month, um, there's an energy for you guys to make peace with something really cool. Uh, have a full card popped out. And I feel like, you know, you guys just want to start over. Like, you don't care. You're just ready to start over. And, like, you're you're ready for, to feel spring. You're ready, you know, to feel that good fresh air. Walking, if the temperature is right for you guys, um, walking is going to help you guys you know not feel less locked in anymore maybe with the cold weather like you know you wasn't able to go outside as much and it made you feel like oh just so sad like now is your time to shine now is your time to feel the sun it's your time to feel radiant to be honest it's your time to feel like you leos this is your card and fortunately you're showing up in the, the upright but I do feel okay this is random and it's kind of going back to what I talked about with the Sag energy if you feel like you're taking care of a partner honey that that's not for you you are not a mother you're a girlfriend or a boyfriend you're not you're not a father okay you're a girlfriend or boyfriend you know um and if you feel like you're mothering or fathering your partner then you're gonna have to like let that person know like whatever issues you got with your childhood you need to deal with that because I can't I can't do this anymore and I feel like this is gonna cause like just some some mental like oh I just I, I keep hearing I'm hearing so much but I'm I'm mainly hearing toxicity like mental confusion like this is gonna make you kind of revisit childhood trauma for some reason or you're taking on this particular person's childhood trauma and I'm hearing a lot of you say I didn't sign up for this shit like I want to be happy I, I didn't want to play somebody's therapist I don't want to like be a girlfriend or a boyfriend to somebody who has emotional issues who's emotionally unavailable who, oh, hopefully you guys heard that knock. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with somebody who's emotionally unavailable. And this may be you. Like, these are general readings. Um, please be careful of somebody who has alcohol problems. Somebody um, who just, like, maybe they're they're uh, smoking a lot. Maybe they, they can't come up with decisions on their own. Some of you have somebody who's really dependent and this is actually causing for you to like not receive all of your blessings to be honest and I feel that maybe in the book I feel like a lot of you have dealt with this for a while and you know I feel like in the beginning like maybe you guys thought that shit was cute 
and like you were kind of in the cupcake stage of it all but i feel like you know m maybe some of you guys were like blaming you and you know you were like okay well maybe it's me maybe I'm, I'm not as helpful as this person say i am maybe i'm not as giving maybe i am selfish but i feel like this month you guys are going to be like nah it's not me i reevaluated myself it's not me like not trying to be funny um and you i feel like you know you guys will come to the truth of this person just like oh you're just taking up just so much now these are general readings and if you are not dealing with nobody at all i do feel like this is going to be a really good time for you guys to you know honestly take your own advice and um be careful of any sneaky behavior that you've done to like get ahead whether this is in regards to work or in regards to your friends because i am picking up excuse me that karma is getting you and you're realizing all the delays that this has brought into your life due to you being sneaky, due to you being greedy, due to you being selfish. All right. And this can go for my males and females. These are general readings. But some of you guys are dealing with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Uh, this may be their sun, their moon, and their rising. If not, this may be somebody who embodies the energy of a water sign person. Um, they I feel like this person loves water. Like... Either they love water, I said water, either they love water, they love chocolate, their skin complexion is chocolate, um, but I feel like this person, they need to get their shit together, and honestly, this person, they may go through a self-evaluation, um, period, within their life this month, and, you know, I feel like this person may come to realize what all has been affecting them and they may you know try the best to get rid of their demons they may acknowledge their demons but just understand if you want to work with this person understand that their demons aren't going to go overnight okay it's going to take some time some of you guys may be dealing with a capricorn or you may have a um, capricorn in your chart and i feel like um the energy with the capricorn the double being in reverse um, let, letting go of control, letting go of selfish ways, be careful of you, like overworking yourself, um, be careful of you giving your all to somebody or a particular person that is not working right now. Like if something isn't really working out all the way, just take a step back and allow for it, you know, to grow on its own because the energy is saying, yes, you guys do have, you know, some control this month, but at the end of the day, I run the shit okay um and i'm picking up that you guys you will be on your a game a lot of you will be on your a game um i don't know why i keep picking up on basketball maybe some of you are playing basketball but i'm getting this as like a metaphor that like you guys are like just playing this game of basketball and like you guys are in lead i do feel that way but you need to be mindful you know of strategy like making sure everything flows together making sure people or situations that are on your team it's like really recuperating that's really all that counts okay because i do feel like whatever isn't working it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb so you guys i'm dealing with a cancer um who isn't meshing with you anymore but i'm also picking up that you know you guys there may be a stop to something and it may be in regards to like either communication with somebody or traveling and i feel like you know this is going to allow for you guys to really realize what's been going on behind your back or who's been lying to you like who's been shady I don't know why I feel like it is either going to come to you through a dream or somebody else may tell you, but I feel like, you know, it may make sense to you to the point where you keep thinking about it because it's like you were already aware of some falseness, but 
I feel like whatever this is, whether this is through your dreams or through another person coming to you, they are going to like fill in those gaps. And if this is not dealing with any shadiness whatsoever, I feel like that there's going to be something that's going to help you fill in the gaps in order for you to move ahead within your life. But I feel like, you know, you guys are going to have to get rid of people or yes, honey, people or situations that are not good for you. People who you aren't compatible with anymore. People, the, the lies, the gossip, the fakeness. I mean, it's not fake to say, hey, but it's fake to carry on a conversation and act like y'all best friends and just talk shit about that person when they're gone. That's fake. And if you're doing it and if somebody else is doing it, just know that some way, somehow it is going to affect you. Like, I just feel like there's something in regards to dignity and pride that you guys need to be mindful of. But going back to this whole house home deal, um, if you, not trying to be funny, but if you have some sort of establishment, maybe with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or if you have this energy in your chart, you aren't happy. Like, they're... Either you want to move or you want to get away from someone in particular. Because this person, like, they just don't match you. They don't understand you. It's just like, you're... A lot of my Leos, I feel like you're tired. But I truly feel like this month, you guys will honestly have the strength to... Put things together put two and two together and make it do what it do to be honest like you guys will do whatever it takes to get out of a weird situation but honestly just make sure you don't step on anybody's toes make sure you aren't aggressive with these people or this particular person or the situation the angels are saying and the cards are saying you guys will gain best results if you are dealing with a conflict is to either walk away or to like honestly be passive and allow for this person to talk and like just listen like give this person the benefit of the doubt and just and just listen because at the end of the day like you will be the one who's going to be okay and i feel like harsh words isn't going to get anywhere okay and I kind of said that with this other card. Some of you guys will be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And I feel like this person, I'm hearing this person is out of their bonkers for some reason. Or you feel like this person is out of their bonkers. And it's like you may put a protection order out on this person. Or you guys may have children with um, an air sign person. Or you will conceive with an air sign person. But if you aren't ready for that, then I mean, you know what you have to do. The outcome of February 2017 for my Leos. The outcome of February 2016 for Leos. First card on the top. Nice. Spiritual strength. This is a nine of wands. So I do feel like once again you guys are being protected. And um there's this sense of like having I don't really want to kind of like you you may have to battle but like not like I feel like spiritually like battling like battling off your demons battling off your impulses um and just doing what you have to do to shine I keep picking up the word shine for you guys and radiant I said this for the Virgos some of you guys may be dealing with the Virgo who knows um but I feel like you know if you guys take your divine god and angels and this protection deal seriously then it will all be all right um i am picking up also the energy of just continuing to fight the battle i keep getting religious stuff in my head um just understand that your divine god will never put too much on you he feel he or she not trying to defend not trying to offend anybody but your divine god you know feels as if you are strong enough to endure whatever it is that he or she is putting you know upon you and he feels like you're going to be able to handle it it may be tough but you know you will be all right understand that but you know you're going to have to be mindful of your temptations and just 
if you need to speak up speak up but you guys need to stop staying in situations that aren't good for you anymore just because you're comfortable or just to make somebody else happy because i always say this and i don't know if i said this for you guys but at the end of the day when you die you're going to be the only one in that coffin so you know you're going to have to make sure you're happy most of all and if you got babies just make sure that you know your babies are happy too but hope you guys enjoyed this read and good luck with everything please take care of yourself i do love you guys and i shall be back for march bye